Good afternoon. Welcome to our virtual open event. Uh, this is our last session of the day just to discuss the learner support offering that's available to you as a potential student. Um, coming up, we've got Nikki Honeyman, who is our learning support coordinator. She's just going to talk you through some of the bits and pieces available uh, to support you. Over to you, Nikki. Hi there, I'm Nikki Honeyman. Um, I'm the learner support coordinator at college. Um, so my main role is to obviously look after students that um, have got education healthcare plans, um, students that might need some additional support throughout their academic year. Um, I also um, support students to get through their exams and we look at access arrangements, so extra time, a reader, a scribe, etc. for an exam. Um, so I'm just going to break down each of those elements. So for an education healthcare plan, we'll look at those first. So guys that come in with with one of those plans um, they're looked at as an individual and, and we look at their support individually and we and we um, do um, programs that will fit in around those um, plans. Um, if by any chance your young person hasn't got a plan, you're not to worry. We still offer support um, that support would normally be um, without with with without their curriculum um, timetable. So usually they've got like a, a gap in their timetable. They might have a tutorial slot. They don't have to attend every week. And during those times, the young people can come and access us some support from our LSAs. The LSAs can offer quite a range, a wide range of support that could be um, a bit of portfolio building. So getting your folder together. It could be targeted to maths or English if you've got a weakness in one of those areas. They can go over work that perhaps been given to you in class um, and perhaps break it down for you. Um, it could just be um, some support with your with your app, with your vocational area as well. Um, so that's sort of so the guys would come up and access that support within the within the library at Home Lacey um, at Folly Lane. It's above the library in her, at Folly Lane and it's called in the directed study area. Um, you can come and see me there. I'm, I live up there in the office. Um, so anytime you're a young person or if you want some, some sort of support, come up and see us. We're always there. We're always available. Um, and also, again, if you if you've ever had um, any access arrangements for exams, if you've ever had any extra time, a reader or anything like that, please do make sure you talk that through with your English and maths tutor or even your vocational tutor if, if you're doing exams for your area. Um, but make sure you have, you know, beginning of the term, go over and talk to them and just say, oh, you know, you've had this um, in place previously. And we can look at um, whether we can do you a, an in internal assessment to see whether you will be um, eligible for any access arrangements. Um, that's us really as part of a team. We're quite a big team. Uh, we've got lots of LSAs dotted all over the campus. So um, there's lots of support around if you need it. And that's really about us in the nutshell. Thank you, Dave. Thanks for that, Nikki. Um, so we've got a couple of questions come through already. Um, so I just said, what, what support's available for students with dyslexia? Again, that would be um, the additional support so they wouldn't be they wouldn't be in class support unless there's an education healthcare plan around um, but saying that sometimes um, obviously each group they might be um, a young person in there with an education healthcare plan um, and there might be an LSA available in that group but if there's not an LSA available in that group that is when you'd come and access your support outside of your curriculum timetable. So that could be, like I've already explained, in a tutorial slot, you could have a gap. Um, of course, if you pass your maths and English, you will be on the directed study programme, which is upstairs above the library at Family Lane and also upstairs above the library at Home Lacey, where you would go for your directed study um, lessons. During those lessons, you can obviously access an LSA in there as well. So there's lots of opportunities for you to help obviously access support. And even if you wanted to, if you were local, you can obviously come up on your one day that you don't, you're not in college. You can still come to college. You can still access support then. You can access the library. Um, so there's lots of opportunities to put, fit, you know, fit a slot in every week if you want to. That's absolutely fine. 
Oh, okay, brilliant. Thank you. Um, now, someone's uh, asked about travel passes. Is that best for yourself or for Sarah? Sarah, really? Is that all right with you, Sarah? I'll just put you live, Sarah. Don't Sorry. Your mic. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's fine. Uh, transport, depending if it's buses or trains. Um, if it's buses, then that would need to be uh, applied through through Herefordshire Council. They've got a link on their website with regards to passes and applying. Um, I'm not sure what that is going to look like for September at the moment due to social distancing and, the, and they are reducing their uh, capacity to 15 to 25 percent. So, um, I would definitely um, speak to the council with regards to that sooner rather than later to find out what their plans are for September. With the trains, um, it may, again, you can uh, apply through the, depending on which network it is, apply through their website for a train pass. Um, it may be more beneficial because we are only a three day a week college to buy a 16 to 17 year old rail card. Um, they may well come in cheaper depending on how often you travel. Um, and again, they are termly. Both passes come to the college um, and we um, we hand those out uh, once we've seen ID for the student. OK, thank you. Um, in the library, um, someone's asked what resources are available. Um, obviously, books is going to be an obvious one, um, but <laughs> what other resources are available? Um, yeah, we've got books, we've got ebooks, um, we've got computers to use, there's the printing facilities, um, there's all sorts of information with regards to what's happening around college. Um, same with upstairs with Nikki, there's a job page upstairs or a job board uh, for sort of local jobs for students. Um, can, it, can you think of anything else, Nikki, resource wise? I think that's. Um, no, that's about it, really. Apart that's from, it. yeah, like obviously, you, you know, you've got your photocopiers and things like that where they can come and print off um, yeah, stuff, we, don't they? And things, you know, things like that, really. We can also do binding for students that need it for um, projects and things like that as well. Okay, brilliant. Um, someone else has asked about um, UCAS applications and. Uh, careers advice. Um, what what helps available for that? Yeah, all the student hub assistants can help with UCAS applications and and checking over their uh, their applications as well. We have a, a process in place to do that, um, and also uh, we have Gail, careers advisor, that can help along the way as well. Okay, brilliant. Um, and then one last question that's come through as well. Uh, so, so that, is there any help and support with mental health issues? Yeah, there, there is. Um, obviously, um, your first protocol would be your course tutor. If you don't feel comfortable doing that, we have got a team, a students um, support advisor team um, that runs through the safeguarding team at college. Um, but of course, again, you can if you've got any pastoral issues or worries or concerns, you can always see the LSAs as well. They are there for that. But if you need more specialist help, perhaps, you know, um, you're finding it difficult um, living at home and things like that. That would be more a student advisor support service. So they are they are accessible on the first floor as you come into reception. Um, you would just turn um, left there and there's a little office along there. But I think if I'm right, Sarah, they can book appointments through reception as well, can they? We we can um, signpost them to to Ali's team. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, brilliant. Thank you both. Um, that's all the questions we've had through so far. Uh, just give it a minute to see if anyone else got any further questions. Please feel free to to ask them. Um, is there anything else LC review feel you need to add? Or has that kind of covered everything? That we offer. No, we've got the parking facilities at the college. Mm, um, mm. Students are able to park in the back car park. Uh, there is a five pound charge per year um, and that's um, apply online through the college website. Um, you will need your student ID so you will have needed to enrol first to be able to apply for that um, that parking pass. It is a first come first served basis so it's not a guaranteed space um, um, but it is more beneficial to pay the five pounds for the year because it's two pound per day otherwise. So, it, you know, I would advise to to um, apply for that once you're driving. OK, 
Brilliant. Thank you. Uh, so it doesn't look like we've had any other questions beyond that. Um, so if, if you're watching this and uh, you're watching it on the recording and think, oh, they haven't asked the question that mm -hmm. I was hoping to have answered, um, feel free to send your questions to us. You can eat, uh, contact us through the contact form on the website or contact us on uh, social media channels. And we can forward that that query on if you've got any further queries about learning support or, or any any queries at all, really, uh, we can forward it on to the relevant uh, staff member or, or, or team. Um, but if that's all the questions, uh, we'll end the session there. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.